Hello everyone, it's me again Celeste and welcome to today's video. We are going to be making some fantastic ornaments with bells like what you see here in the video. But before we start, if you are new to my channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest videos. To begin with this, we need to gather our materials. We all need a ring that's 5.5 centimeters in diameter, one bead, two pieces of bells, two colors of yarn, size 4 or medium, a glue gun, and a hook size 4 or size G. Let's start by grabbing our ring and hook and the first yarn color, white. We all wrap the yarn around the circle using a slip stitch and chain. No counting is needed on how many stitches we make here to recover the ring on our project. Next, we all start making a slip stitch by grabbing the yarn from the front like this, going to the back and making a slip stitch then grabbing the yarn at the back make a slip stitch making a chain again going from the back make a slip stitch and chain Going to the back again, make a slip stitch, then chain. So we all continue making slip stitch and chain stitches until we all through cover the ring. Ensure that there is no gaps between the yarns in your circle, then keep going until you covered everything. I'll show you in the middle of our work right here once. We almost done. Then you can also pull back your work to ensure no gaps between the yarns in your ring and let's keep going. Once you are done on the ring, Let's make a slip stitch on the first chain. Then make 20 chains for hanging purposes only. If you prefer ornaments hook, that would be fine too. Then return to the first chain and make a slip stitch. Then cut the yarn, leave like 6 inches of tail, and secure it at the back. Then grab the bead and put it in your hanging chain. Then set aside.
and let's work for the ribbon. To make this, hold your second color of yarn, then make a and chain 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. After starting with the row one, insert your hook on the first chain. And make a single crochet across every stitch to the end of this row. So I have two, three, and keep going. Now I have last one right here. For the second row, make a chain of one, then repeat the process to ensure you have four total rows. Keep going until you get the total of four rows. When you are done with your four rows, leave a tail for eight inches long, then cut the yarn. Now using a yarn needle, Sew both edges and tie both strings. Look at the center, tie it around four times, and secure the thread and cut both ends. Now one, two, then if it is not enough, you can tie it around twice. Then secure the thread and cut both ends. Now let's assemble the bells and the ribbon to our red. To make this, 
glow both bells on the lower center part of the red, followed by the bow to complete your project. Make sure you have enough glue right here, then your bells will stick properly. Hold for a second to make it steady on the place. Then put a second layer of glue for your bow. The proposal of cutting the tail of the ribbon is I don't want to see on the back that there's another color right here. Since we need to glue the bells, why not glue the ribbon too? To make it clean and tidy when you look at the back of your project but if you feel like tie it around of your project that's your choice. I hope you guys love this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below and share it with your friends. Have a nice day everyone. See you on my next video.